Are you looking for a quick, professional way to design and prototype AI and machine learning models without needing to write code? So whether you're a data science beginner or a domain expert wanting to build explainable models, Alter AI Studio makes advanced analytics accessible to everyone. So you can actually find them by going to alter.com slash alter-ai-studio. So Alter AI Studio, which is formerly known as Rapid Miner Studio, is a powerful data science design platform that enables users to create, test, and deploy AI and machine learning workflows through an intuitive visual drag-and-drop interface. It supports automated machine learning, generative AI features, and interactive data preparation, empowering you and teams of all skill levels to generate actionable insights and build trust in AI-driven decisions. With Alter AI Studio, you can rapidly prototype predictive models without coding, leverage AutoML to automate complex tasks, and prepare data interactively for better accuracy. Its explainability features to help accommodate model logic clearly across your organization, making it ideal for business analysts, data scientists, and domain experts alike. So in this video, we'll walk you through setting up your first project in Alter AI Studio, building a drag and drop machine learning workflow, and using the AutoML for model automation. We can also prefer you for their data interaction and interpreting model results. By the end, you'll be equipped to create explainable AI models to drive real business value. So first things first, onto their website, you can see this. They have the free trials option right here, so you can just go over and then just choose which alter you want to actually do. So from in there, we also can go to just the link of the free trials of alter, which is usually HTTPS alter dash alter AI studio option. So they have the option to actually go over and then do a trial for that, sign up for the actual trial that you want, and then just download it. So this is what it looks like. You can just choose which kind of AI pseudo you want. I have chosen the Rapid Miner and we have in here Windows, Mac, and Linux. For this case, I'll just choose Windows and I have already downloaded it. So just make sure to install it according to your liking. So once you have installed it, it will ask what license you want. So for this one, you can choose the Alter License Management System or the Rapid Miner License. Just choose which one you want. And then from in there, it will actually ask you to authorize and then just choose in here or input the email and address as well as the password that you have just done or used in order to sign up. It will actually apply the license setting for that. From there, make sure to actually agree to the license and agreement. Click on to this accept. And then just wait for this to actually load up in order to open the AI Studio. So it will ask you to sign in again. And when it's done, it will download that license. And you can just click onto this, I'm ready, in order to start using this. So this is what it looks like onto the case. So we have in here the tutorials, repository, parameters, and we have in here the processes. So for example, you have the option to import data from external repositories if you would want. Under this, we also have the operators like, for example, the modeling, segmentation, and the likes. So let's start to create something. So on our repository option, expand the samples. And then from in there, you can also go over to the data. So from in there, you can just drag any data that you have. And if you already have your old data, you can just import them and then add them right here. So you can put that into the process option. Let's choose in here this Titanic option and let's put it right here. Now in here, it will retrieve the Titanic and it will add it into the process on the middle of your screen. So it should be able to be inputted right here and this lagging will actually help load it 
in order to its final completion. Next thing that we need to do is to just input it into this rest line that we can see right here. So in that way, it can actually be attached to that part right here. So you can just make the connection by dragging that line between the ports or by clicking on one port then on other port. For example, this port and to this particular port, as you can see, it's now connected into this other one. So you can also just drag it wherever you want to put it and as you can see here it is. So for this one, you just need to click on run on the top left, which is also this icon that you can see right here. So click onto this right here and it will actually execute the process. So if there's something or an error happening right here, you can click onto this fix now option and it should be fixed. And you can click onto this icon right here again and it will be run right here. Now you should be able to see in here the result history of what that will look like. And now we have just mastered right here the first sample set. We can see in here the data, the statistics for that. So this is actually a data set for the passengers of Titanic. So here are some first class. And into the bottom, we also have second, third class. We can see right here. We can see their age, number of siblings, and legs. You can click on statistics and you can see the passenger class like how many are on each of the visualizations, the names, the sex, the age of them, number of siblings, or anything that we have for this particular part. We also have in here a visualization that you can actually go over and see. So you can change the actual visualization for this. We have in here the plot type. You can just click onto this drop down, and you can choose any which one of this that you want. For example, if you want the line, just click on the this line option that we can see right here. And it should be able to be added right there. And here is our line option. You can also change it into however you want. Like for example, let's make it a pie. And in here, if it's actually happening right there, you can just choose in here the options that has been added anymore. We also have in here the value column, so you can change that if ever. And we also have the colors that we can use for that, as well as number of bins. We also have the general, x-axis, y-axis, titles, and likes. And you can also input right here some annotation based on those data. So you can see all of them right here into one place. And if you want to add a new more, you can just import or just drag a new data set. So as you can see, it has a lot of things that we can actually use. So thank you for watching our Altair AI Studio tutorial. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your next work. Subscribe to our channel for more insights on AI, machine learning, and data science tools. So what challenges do you face when building AI models? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching.